First of all, Ashley Kim, can you come and, and share your testimony? Give her a round of applause as she comes. Yeah. No, you don't need that. I'll move this. Do you want this? Okay. Um, hello, my name is Ashley Kim, and I'm a junior at West Orange High School. I was raised in the church, so from the earliest age, my faith was based on what my parents believed. I would routinely go to church on Sundays, but I would go to see my friends and not meet with or encounter God. Um, church to me was just a place where I was forced to go every week, and it didn't really mean anything to me personally in terms of a relationship with God. As I got older and came into Harvest, I realized that the main purpose of going to church should not be to hang out with my friends. That made me question my relationship with God and whether it was really that important to me. I wanted to strengthen my relationship with God, but I didn't know how to, how to so I ended up living two lives one at church and one outside of church. At church, I would look like I would worship with all that I have, and as I did, my heart would feel full and loved. However, outside of church was a different story. I would live for the things of this world instead of for God, and I didn't realize just how much that impacted my relationship with him. James writes that friendship with the sinful world and its desires is hatred towards God. I started to feel that impact in seventh grade when I began to feel empty and helpless. I would go to retreats and feel spiritual highs, yet when I came home, I would feel the exact emptiness that I did before the retreat. I wasn't sure what I was going through, but all I knew was that I was in desperate need for help. I was constantly turning to the world for answers, and I didn't know why it wasn't healing me. People would love and care about me, yet I would still feel that emptiness every day. Later on, I realized that the reason why I felt so empty and helpless was because I was living my life without Christ. As a result, my heart was never at rest. A very memorable moment in my walk with Christ happened my freshman year at our youth winter retreat. In the past, I would attend retreats hoping to feel a spiritual high, but that year I wasn't excited to go. But the guest speaker, Pastor Phil, talked about the ugliness of the sin of partiality and how we treat people differently based on our judgmental thoughts and how God took the filth of our sins to the cross with his son. Even though it was a message that I've heard all my life, it clicked that God loves us even though we don't deserve it. He knows every little thing that we did and will do, yet he still sent his only son to die for our sins. It astounds me to think that someone as perfect as him would do that for someone as sinful as me. I finally understood that I have a perfect father who is always going to be there for me, even when I'm lost, and who loves me unconditionally. He truly is a perfect father, and he will never fail us and will always be waiting with open arms. I know that my relationship with God is something that I can never replace with something of this world. God has a plan for me, and I don't need to worry or rely on myself, and that's something that I've never been so sure about. He will be faithful forever. God also placed people in my life to help me grow, my sister being one of them. I see how she loves other people, and I never understood why she would spend so much time and energy on people who don't really do much for her. Later, I realized that she did this because she understood the love of God, that we don't deserve to be loved by God, yet he still loves us. Without fail, we... W and uh, without fail and we love others because of this my sister trusted God even in hard times and while she had her doubts she always came back to God I pray that people would be able to see God through me and that I would be able to love people like she does I know that I don't deserve anything that has been given to me it blows my mind how God can love a sinner like me I know that I'll never be free from sin but that's why I need a savior who will reach out to me and bring me back to him I pray that as I continue my walk with God that I will be reminded of his never-ending grace and love that he has for me Thank you. Good stay up.